Hello everyone, my name is Patricia DiPario and I'm a student pharmacist class of 2023 and today I will be talking about Diloxetine or the brand name Cymbalta. First I'll be going over some patient counseling points, what it's used for, how to take it, and just some common side effects that you may experience when you start taking this drug. So Cymbalta can be used for many different things. This includes depression, anxiety. It can also be used to help with painful nerve disease and diabetic nerve problems. Some patients use it to ease long-term pain problems or to treat fibromyalgia. This drug is best taken with or without food. Make sure to swallow the capsule whole, but if you're unable to swallow, you may sprinkle the contents on applesauce and swallow the mixture right away without chewing. As we know, all drugs may cause side effects. However, many people don't experience any side effects or may have some, or if they do, it's only minor side effects. The most common side effects patients may experience are going to be headache, dry mouth, trouble sleeping. You might also feel a little dizzy, sleepy, tired or weak. And this drug has also shown that patients experience decreased libido. Don't stop taking this drug all of a sudden without calling your doctor. You may have a greater risk of side effects, but if these side effects bother you or won't go away, definitely call your doctor to see if there are any alternative medication to replace it with. Even though it may be rare, some people may have very bad and sometimes deadly side effects when taking a drug. Tell your doctor or get medical help right away if you have any of the following signs or symptoms that may be related to a very bad side effect. This includes uh, signs of allergic reaction or signs of bleeding like throwing up or coughing up blood, signs of low sodium levels like headache, seizures or changes in balance, um, trouble passing urine, liver problems have happened with this drug as well. It's rare, but it's very de deadly. So call your doctor right away if you have any signs of liver problems like dark urine, feeling tired, not hungry, light colored stools or yellow skin or eyes. And drugs like this one have raised the chances of suicidal thoughts or actions in children and young adults. The risk may be greater in people who have had these thoughts or actions in the past. All people who take this drug need to be watched closely. Call the doctor right away if signs like low mood, nervousness, restlessness, or any changes in mood or actions that are new or worse. Now let's talk more in depth about Cymbalta. Duloxetine or Cymbalta belongs to the drug class called serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor or SNRIs. It's an oral antidepressant drug indicated for the following conditions such as major depressive disorder in adults, generalized anxiety disorder in adults and pediatrics, diabetic peripheral neuropathic pain in adults, fibromyalgia in adults and pediatrics, and chronic musculoskeletal pain in adults. How the way SNRIs work is by binding to the serotonin and norepinephrine transporters and inhibiting them, leading to increased levels of these neurotransmitters within their synaptic cleft. This helps improve symptoms of depression and may also be useful in other conditions like anxiety and neuropathic pain. For dosage and formulation, Cymbalta comes in a delayed release capsule. It's available as a 20 milligrams, 30 milligrams, and a 60 milligram capsule. And for dosing, it depends on the patient indication as well as age. So the starting dose differ as well as the target dosing. These dosages are available on the table provided. So 
So for example, for generalized anxiety disorder, the starting dose for adults is 60 milligrams a day, but for geriatrics, it's 30 milligrams. And then for pediatrics, it also starts as 30 milligrams a day. And then their target dose is 60 milligrams for adults. And then for ge geriatrics, you want to increase it to up to 60 milligrams. And then pediatrics, it ranges to 30 to 60 milligrams a day. And if a provider wants to discontinue this drug, you want to gradually reduce the dosage to avoid discontinuation symptoms. For drug interaction, Cymbalta is contraindicated with the concomitant use of an MAOIs. MAOIs, or monoamine oxidase inhibitor, is another class of antidepressants. Um, the four most commonly prescribed MAOIs are selegiline, isocarboxacid, phenylzine, and tranylcypromine. Avoid the use of Cymbalta within 14 days of stopping an MAOI. And also, Cymbalta is contraindicated when using linazolid or IV methylene blue. Cymbalta interacts with potent inhibitors of CYP1A2, which should be avoided. Examples of CYP1A2 includes clozapine, lanzapine, fluoxamine, haloperidol, and theophylline. And potent inhibitors of CYP2D6 um, including bupropion, fluoxetine, peroxetine, quinidine, and terbinafine should be avoided as well as it may increase Cymbalta concentrations. And for consideration, Cymbalta is a moderate inhibitor of CYP2D6 as well. Now for some adverse events from Cymbalta, just some common side effects that patients may experience. Experience. Usually, pediatric patients experience decreased weight, decreased appetite, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and diarrhea. And then for adults, they usually experience nausea, dry mouth, somnolence, constipation, decreased appetite, and hyperhidrosis. And then warnings and cautions that is rare but the patients may experience um, are hepatotoxicity, orthostatic hypotension, serotonin syndrome, increased risk of bleeding, severe skin reaction, activation of mania or hypomania, glaucoma, and seizures. For specific populations, Cymbalta should be avoided in patients with chronic liver disease or cirrhosis and with renal impairment avoid using patients with severe renal impairment when they have a gfr of less than 30 milliliters per minute for pregnancy this drug may cause harm to the unborn baby if you take it while you are pregnant if you're pregnant or you get pregnant while taking this drug call your doctor right away in third trimester of pregnancy, it may the usage of Cymbalta may lead to some health problems in the newborn. And tell your doctor if you are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed, as this drug passes into breast milk and may harm your baby. Monitor for sedation, poor feeding, and poor weight gain in neonates. Here are my reference. Thank you everyone and have a great day.